We are now ready to create and send our first push message. And I will begin by starting my application on iPhone. And I have Xcode open. And in my um, app Swift, uh, I mean app delegate.swift file, on the left side, I'll open uh, my uh, application structure. And I want to open app delegate.swift file. And at the bottom here, I have a function called did receive remote notifications. So when push message arrives, this function should trigger. And the content of push message will be stored in user info object, which I'm going to print out when this function triggers. And I also created a breakpoint here so that um, when push message arrives, I clearly see that this line is um, triggered. Okay, another very important moment is that you want to have, you want to, from the list of devices, you want to select iPhone device, not one of the simulators here because push message will not arrive to your simulator. You need to select an iPhone device. And for your device to appear here, you need to connect it with your um, charging cable, the USB cable that you have to charge your iPhone device connected to your computer. And then uh, you will see iPhone here. Okay, so my device is selected. Um, uh, my device is connected to my computer. I will start my application and um, I'm ready to uh, send push messages to it. Uh, I will now uh, switch to my uh, NetBeans development environment where I have my PHP project. And uh, remember that um, the files that are needed to send push messages, we have an APNs folder, Apple push notification service folder. And there we have classes and we have APNs and samples. So samples file contains all different examples that we can try um, and see uh, how we can compose push message. And before it will, before this file will work, please make sure that your database connection details are set up properly. So for my database host is localhost, my username and my password here, and the database that I'm connecting to um, uh, on my server. I will uh, drag down my um, PHP my admin and here I have the my photo app database and this is the database I'm supplying here database name and my um, I have already registered device it wants me to log in okay session time out and I have my APNs messages uh, table empty so once a message is recorded into database, it will appear in APNs messages. Okay, so let's go back to our PHP file. So once you have database connection uh, details provided correctly, we are ready to compose our first message. And basically uh, to compose a first message, we first need to instantiate the APNs object by uh, passing it a database uh, connect db connect class db connect object so we instantiate database connection object and then we pass it to apn's object and now once we have apn's we can create uh, a message so there is a function called new message and if i call if i hold command button on my uh, keyboard command button on my macbook pro and click on this message it will take me to class apn's.php which is inside of classes folder here and if i look at this uh, function it accepts the foreigner key device id uh, delivery parameter and client id parameter i can uh, read the description of these parameters here so foreigner key f key device is the uh, device the, is the foreigner key or array of foreigner keys and basically that's an array of device ids that you want your message to be sent to. For example, if I, I um, now in my database, I have one device registered for push messages and that device has this PID. So that will be the ID that I want to provide. If I want, if I have multiple devices registered, I will provide multiple IDs separated by by comma for example but that that needs to be an array of ids 
okay but um uh, we will come back to sending multiple devices a push message to multiple devices a bit later uh, okay so let's go back to our um, samples file so here because i have one device registered and because one because the id of my device is one i'm providing here is one if my device would have an id of two or three then i would provide a different value here but now i'm sending uh, a push message to a device that has a pid value of one um, the next parameter is add message alert and this uh, function accepts the text that you want to be sending again you can look at this function by holding command button and clicking on this function and see what other parameters it accepts but um, to make it simple this is the message that user will see when it arrives uh, and they're prompted with the um, alert message for example so i typed uh, sample text here a message to canadian customer and the last uh, function is uh it's called q message and what it will do it will uh, record this message in our database it will record our message into apn's messages and will uh and that message will be queued for delivery it will not send right away it will be just sent it will be just queued for delivery and for the push message to be sent there is another function that we need to call it's called process queue again it's called on apn's uh, object and it's a process queue so once this function executes it will send out all push messages that were queued for delivery so if we have one message here a queued for delivery it's only one message that would that will be delivered but if we create multiple messages all of them will be sent out to devices the id that we will provide here in a new message so once i'm done here i will save my file and then i will go to my ftp client i'm using filezilla and i'll take samples php drag and drop it to my apn's folder on the server side and now i'm ready to um go and send it so the path to my um let me open it in the browser i have my um url here so i will open a new tab paste the url and then co go back to filezilla copy the uh, path to my um, project which is photo app slash apns folder i'll paste it here and then slash file name is called samples.php and if i hit enter now to run samples.php file um, it should send push message to my iphone device so hit enter uh, to run the script and i can switch now to my um, database and refresh apn's messages table and i should see uh, a new message recorded in my uh, database table so the message well, this, the important parameters um, are that we can see that it was sent to a device with an id one which is correct we wanted it to be sent uh, we wanted this message to be sent to a device that has id one and if i look up into devices table this is the device with the id one and i see that the message details are here so when push message is sent is actually sent as a JSON uh, object uh, in a JSON format and I see the delivery time and then I see the status so this message was successfully delivered and the status is delivered and if a um, message fails to be delivered the status will be failed um, and uh, this is it now I can switch uh, to my um, Xcode and I see that execution stopped on this breakpoint uh, this green line and I see that um, the message did indeed arrive because did receive remote notification function was triggered so I can step over this line and it will be printed the message details the user in four which contains the message details will be printed in uh, the uh, Xcode console here 
and I can remove the breakpoint, I can play it, and this is it. We have the message, we can now work with it. So all we need to do now to uh, be able to send a push message, um, we need to trigger this samples uh, PHP script. And if I trigger it again, it will send a new push message. I can switch back to um, database, refresh it, and now I have two push messages here. And my Xcode also receives uh, received a new push message. Now the uh, parameters I have here, I mean the values I have here, the device ID and the message itself are hard coded. But in the case of your application, the value device ID could come. Um, you can read it from the database, or you could come uh, as a request parameter, for example, from your um, post uh, HTTP request. Um, or uh, I mean, it's uh, it's up to you how you can pass uh, this value here. Same with the message. You can either your script can read it from the database, depending on your business logic, or it can pass it as a, a post uh, HTTP uh, parameter, like this, for example. You'll have message, uh, and um, this is a very um, basic simple example of sending uh, creating and sending push messages we have uh, some others to discuss uh, and important please do not forget that uh, once you queue the message you also have to call process queue for this message to be sent if you don't call process queue the message will be queued in your database and it won't be sent um, and this is it